Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this Antero Pikes Peak Edition. Last week in this beautiful snow I get every Wednesday. You're welcome. Um, I did the Bama Gut figure today. I'll do the Pikes Peak, kind of give you a, lift, a different look. We're going to start right up here on the front. This is on the Ford Transit. Uh, the Bama Gut, which I did last week, is on the Sprinter chassis. So this is a Ford Transit. You got a 3.5 liter EcoBoost with 310 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque. It is all wheel drive, so it's perfect for these conditions. I actually have the setting on for slippery uh, conditions, so it covers your, your snow and ice. Uh, we'll start right up front. We're gonna have our aluminum wheels. These are obviously blacked out wheels. We like doing black wheels or, or dark gray on our conversions. These tires are going to be 235, 65s, and they're 16 inch rims. If we work our way back, you can see we have a fixed running board to help you get in and out of the van. I do have our awning lights on, and we got all the scene lights on so you can see how bright it is. It's not bright enough out here with all this snow, so I figured I'd give you a little extra light. So we work our way around the back. You'll see that we do have windows. This is gonna be where the bed is. I'll show you when we get inside, but there are windows. Some vans don't have those, so it's, it's a kind of a nice feature to have. Back here, we're gonna have our external solar port. This van does come equipped with two 90 watt panels up on the roof. You can add an extra panel right here. If we work our way around the back, you'll see that we have a nice solid ladder on here climb up there uh, you're not gonna want to climb up there right now <laughs> it's a little slippery but uh, when it's time to dust off that snow be careful get up there get the snow off those solar panels a couple things I want to point out on the back end here is we do have our roll lift screen to give you uh, black out the windows when it's time to go to bed or get some privacy you can also just open the screen so you have fresh air circulating through there when it's warm out. We're gonna have a standard 110 outlet right here with a couple USB ports. On this side, we're gonna have our scene light, which I have on up top. Uh, if you look up, you can also see our backup camera. We're gonna have an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. And you're going to have a quick connect right here for your airline. So this does have an onboard compressor, uh, which you turned on right there. You're going to have your water pump switch and also your underbed or garage lights, which you can see are on right there. Those come in handy at night if you have the bed made and you need to get some gear out from underneath the bed. We'll go ahead and turn off the scene lights. Uh, while we're back here, I also want to point out a couple of things just because it's easier to see. Right here, you're going to see our two Lion Energy lithium batteries and our Red Arc power management controller there. On this side, you'll be able to see that ARB air compressor and we do have a, an air hose that will reach all four tires in case you have to air down at some point. This comes with the 30 amp um, service 30 amp short cord or not a short cord 30 amp service uh, you do get this adapter which I'll show you how to use here in a minute I also want to point out that these doors do lock and unlock so they do open up wider it's kind of a nice little feature to have you don't always need that but if you do it's nice to have all right down here you gonna see our Go Rhino step to help you get in and, in and out of the van without hitting your shins down here. We're also going to have our, our tow hitch here, which is rated for 5,200 pounds. And then our seven-way connector right here. Remember that just because the, the, it's rated for 5,200 pounds, you can't really, can't always tow what that tells you. You have to do the math. Make sure you figure out your weight rating based on the gross combined weight vehicle vehicle weight rating and also the, the weight of your van, okay, once it's loaded. If you have any questions on that, you can always feel free to give me a call and I can kind of walk you through that. So we work our way around the back here. A couple things I want to point out, as you can see, we have our luggage racks up top. This is our Pikes Peak model. If you've seen our Kakadus, 
Uh, we are now using a rack that uh, Antero actually uh, makes. Um, it's their own style. Right here we're going to have our, this is where you would do your gravity fill for your fresh tank. This is also where you would sanitize your tank. Right now as you can see we have a label saying that it's sanitized. And another window on this bump out here. Again, really nice feature to have. Here is our 30 amp service here, our connection. So this is where if you go to an RV park, you probably might want to get a, if you go to a lot of RV parks, I would suggest getting a 30 amp cord to plug in uh, to be able to use everything. If you're just wanting to hook up at your garage or in your driveway, this will go just to a standard outlet. So you just run an extension cord to this. Makes it really nice. You keep those batteries uh, charging. Let me just pop this in here. So you put it in there and then you kind of tighten it up. Keeps it from falling off. All right, right there is our fuel fill. This is a gasoline van. Make sure you are not using diesel. Again, you're going to have another small running board here to help you get in and out of the van. You're going to have your light controls here and your mirrors. We have power door locks and windows. And right under here is the catch for the trunk or hood release. One of the things I love about the Anteros is they do a wrap. Kind of looks like a little carbon fiber wrap on here. Helps keep the rock chips away. All right, now that we're under the hood, a couple things to point out. You're gonna have your coolant here. You're gonna have a positive terminal right here. Have a fuse box under here. Your windshield wipe washer fluid goes right in here. I like pointing out that in this, you have a lot of room, so you can check your oil here, fill your oil there. You can actually reach back here quite a ways. Most of the vehicles nowadays, there's no room to put your hand anywhere. You can't, if you like to work on your own engines, do your own service, they make it kind of difficult to do that. This one, you got plenty of space under there. All right, as you can see, we got that huge light bar up front. All right, so the Anteros, we utilize the smart floor system or l track a couple things you can use you can use a bench seat like this um, oh excuse me let me turn off my phone so they come equipped with the two front passenger the two front seats you can buy additional seats like this one that will lock into the smart floor I'm gonna show a couple of things. One, it's got wheels in the back, so they're really easy to move around once you're in here. And then you, you, you find a spot where you wanna put it in, you would remove this. Those rubber pieces there come in handy. It keeps debris, trash and debris out of those, uh, the L track there. All right, now once you got it where you want it, it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is push this up and that's going to lock you into the floor. To release it, here hold on, let me, let me get this right in there. Whoops. You want to get the front pieces in there. There we go. So you want to make sure these front pieces are in there. And then when you lock it in there, super solid. It's not going to go anywhere. They're DOT rated. And then to release it, you want to pick this up right here. Because this kind of is a safety catch here. So you want to lift this up, pull the handle back. Same on the other side. And now you can kind of move it around. These are really nice because 
you know, if you got kids and they don't always go with you, you know, especially if they're teenagers, they may not want to go with mom and dad all the time. You can leave these in the garage. Gives you a ton more space in here. I'm going to move that kind of out of the way. Kind of go over a couple more features here. We're going to have a roll lift screen right here. Same as on the back. We're going to have our fire extinguisher, smoke detector. Our first aid and survival kit that's got some food in there. We're going to have our awning lights. Our scene light on the side, the light bar up top. And then again, our garage lights or under the bed light. You're going to have your awning controls here. 110 outlet with USB port. They also give you a little kick down step here to help you get in and out of the bed. There's a grab bar right here. Also helps you get in and out. We're going to have a 4.6 cubic foot refrigerator. For a van that's a really good sized refrigerator, gives you plenty of room for your groceries. We're going to have our 700 watt microwave. And some of the transit vans don't have the overhead storage. This one does have it, which is a really nice feature. We're keeping all of our blackout shades in here. There's also a rod here that you can use to put a, a curtain here if you want additional blackout uh, after you do the windows or just a little heat shield, kind of keep the heat in a little bit more. You're going to have some cubbies overhead. Here's the front light bar switch. And then here's your battery merge. So that's the button you would push if you leave your lights on and your batteries get kind of low. That will merge your house and chassis batteries together. We're going to have an induction cooktop right here. Get my gloves out of the way. All right, so we're going to have our induction cooktop. We're going to have our sink right here that's a 10 inch deep sink. Really nice sink. If you're into collecting magnets, like I said last week, this is a perfect place. Every stop you go, grab you a different magnet and keep track of where you've been. Down here, if you can kind of look back under there, you'll see the 2.5 gallon Bosch hot water heater. See, nice silverware tray. And then another deep um, drawer here. On this side, you can have a nice spot here for your waste basket or taller items. Right here, they do a good job of hiding this. This is actually another step to help you get into the bed. Pantry area. You're gonna have your Xantrax control right here. This is where you turn on your inverter. It's got a 2000 watt inverter. Your main battery uh, on and off switch right here. All your ceiling and your galley lights. This is where you would turn on that Bosch hot water heater. So you press and hold that. Light will turn on and that will activate that hot water heater. We do uh, S4 uh, furnace here that is fuel fired. So this is gonna run off of the gas in the coach, in the van. Uh, as you can see right here, one gallon of fuel will heat it up to 22 hours. So it's really fuel efficient. Right now I've got it set at like 70, earlier it was at 90. Wanted to make sure it was warm when I got in here. Right here is your Bluetooth control. This is actually gonna let you sync your phone to those rear speakers and the doors back there. Um, there's gonna be one on each side, one down here, one down there. And those are not tied to the batteries on the van, so you don't have to worry about killing your van battery. Uh, while you're listening to your music outside. Up here, you're gonna have your tank monitor. So this will tell you the voltage on your battery, your fresh tank, and your gray tank. There's no black tank on here because as you can see, we do not have a, an enclosed bathroom or shower. What we do give you is a porta potty box. It's 
So again, a lot of people don't want or need an enclosed bathroom. They're going to use a bathroom at the gas station or wherever they're staying. Uh, if you need one, there's a porta potty. They do a really good job of concealing it. You got a nice little uh, bench here you can sit on or a footstool. Now, Jody, if you'll come around, I'm going to move this seat up front to kind of get it out of the way for a minute. Again, with those wheels back here, it's really easy to move around. Now I want to show you what's under the bed here. So it looks like there's a lot of storage. There's a lot of access points here uh, to work on the bed if needed. You know, if you drop something and it falls back there, you got access panels here. There's a little bit of storage there. That's probably where I would put that adapter for the uh, 30 amp service to 15. And then down here, you're going to have some plumbing. You're going to have your fresh tank. So this has an 18-gallon fresh tank and an 11-gallon gray tank. Down here, if you can see these valves, and this hose is actually going to be where you winterize your coach. It's already set up for you. We can walk you through and show you how to do that when you come for your delivery. All right, on this side, I already showed you the batteries. We have the two lithium batteries there. Here's our 2000 watt inverter. If you're familiar with the uh, Antero products, you know that on the new model, the Kakadu, we now have a 3000 watt inverter and four lithium batteries. Down here, you're gonna have your breakers. Everything is nicely labeled. So in case something stops working, always check your breakers. Your fuses are down in there. Now we'll switch spots here. One thing that I really like about the Antero product is that I'm a little claustrophobic, so eating on a little tiny table crammed in to me is a little tight and I don't really care for it. I love that they make the bed double as a table. Um, so you can sit here, you got plenty of room. If you like to work on the road, you can put your laptop up here. You got plenty of room for a workspace. Over on this side here, before I put the bed down, a couple things I want to show you. We do have what we call the USB or charging port here, your power cubby. You're going to have another 110 outlet with some USBs, additional USB ports there, 12 volt, and then this is going to control your mood lighting up top. You can see you can change colors. It's a good spot to put your phone while it's, while it's charging. I actually brought a tape measure. You've seen my videos, I don't do a lot of measuring. I don't measure cabinets or you know, drawers unless I'm asked to. I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. If you ever want me to, just call me if there's a specific model that you want dimensions of. Um, I don't mind doing it, I do it all the time. Um, but in the videos, I feel like I'd rather just kind of show you the van or the coach that I'm walking and then get those little fine details later. But I get a lot of calls on this one, especially because on the, on the Ford Transit, you get a little longer bed, a little bigger bed. Um, so on this one, your side measurement here is 57 inches on the cushion, actually about 58 inches. If you're tall, you're going to have 70, about 78 inches, 78 to 79 inches long wise. So plenty of room uh, to stretch out. Again, super simple to put your bed away. The other thing I want to measure, because on the Antero, on the Transit, you actually get a little more headroom. Uh, so for you guys that are 6'2", 6'3", back here, you're going to be right at 6'3". And then as we move towards the front, it'll go up a little bit. Uh, you're going to be about six, three and a half. So it kind of gives you an idea. Um, I'm 5'11". That's my true height. I know sometimes I say I'm 6'5". I only wish. Plenty of headroom here. But again, 6'3", six, 6'3 three, six, three and a half towards the front. Plenty of room. Yep, one more thing I want to point out back here is you're going to have these ram mounts. So you can actually put some accessories in here. Uh, so you can put an iPad holder down right there or an iPhone holder while you're laying in bed. Everything's right there. 
uh, within reach. So it's really nice to have. All right, now working, you know what, Jody, let me put the seat back in the back and then we'll go through the cab. Again, these seats are nice. I've had people put four seats in here. Uh, it gets a little crowded, but you can do it. Uh, and again, when you're not using them, you just take them out, put them in the garage. So it's a really, really nice feature. All right, now that we're up front here, a couple things I want to point out. Again, this is the all-wheel drive, 3.5 liter EcoBoost, uh, 310 horsepower, like I mentioned earlier. The biggest thing about th this van is your different modes. So you can see down here on the dash that right there is normal. Then you have economy mode, slippery mode, which is what I would use it in right now. You're gonna have mud and ruts, and then you're gonna have your tow and haul. So if you're hauling a trailer, you would put it on there. Right here is your trailer brake controller. So this is to apply the brakes on your trailer. You would push those together. You can set the gain right here. There's a minus and a plus. Again, if you have any questions, if you've never towed, you have questions, feel free to give me a call uh, and I can answer some questions for you. You're gonna have four additional auxiliary switches here. So if you wanna set up additional light bars, if you wanna you know, add some, some of your own uh, taste to this, you can just wire it in here and just use these switches here. Got your cup holder here, nice spot for a cell phone right there. You're gonna have a USB port and a 12 volt. Up on the dash, again, you're going to have quite a bit of storage up here on both sides. You're going to have a nice spot to put, again, you can put your phone right in here if you want and plug in because this does have another USB and 12 volt outlet right there. There's no storage up top. You're going to have your controls here for your, your fan, your AC and heat. And then obviously right here you would control if you want defrost and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, on your main uh, stereo here, your main screen, a couple things, you'll go to your home button. And then down here, we'll show you your menu. So if you want to go to your radio, you would go there. There's your phone. So you can set up your phone to make phone calls while you're going down the road. Here's your navigation. And then here are your apps. Um, oh, so it's not synced. I can tell you that you can plug in your phone and use your Apple CarPlay. Here in the settings, you're gonna find your Bluetooth. Here's all your mobile apps, XM radio, 911 assist, Apple CarPlay's right there. Wi-Fi, your Ford Pass Connect. So the Ford Pass Connect, if you don't have a Ford already, it's cool, it's got an app. Uh, it'll send you regular uh, notifications, let you know if there's any uh, issues uh, that you need to, to address. Uh, it'll tell you if there's a check engine light, those kind of things, so it's really cool to have. It does have voice controls, and again, I, like I said, Wi-Fi. Over here on, the st on your steering wheel, a couple things you're gonna have. Right here, this is gonna control, this okay button here by moving it up and down is gonna toggle through your different options. When you get to the one you want, you're gonna push it in and then hit this right button and it'll give you your options for that section here. So for example, if I wanna to go to driver assistance, there's your pre-collision assist. You'd hit okay and then you can, you can activate it down here if you want the active braking. So if you want it to, stop you if it feels you're going to be in an accident it'll actually apply the brakes you can turn that on or off if you turn it off you're going to see this little icon up there on the right a lot of times people will call and say hey, there's something on my dash i'm not sure what it is and a lot of times it's that and again all this stuff you can get off the owner's manuals but if you have any questions you can always feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email here you can check your tire pressure There's your intelligent all-wheel drive. Right now it's showing that up above it, it's showing that we're in tow haul mode, which 
We're not towing the trailer, so I'll take that off of there. Driver alerts. Auto start and stop. So uh, for those of you that aren't sure what that is, again, um, I have it on, on a couple of my vehicles. It shuts the, it, it almost feels like it shuts the, the van down when you're at a stop and then it turns back on. It's supposed to say fuel. It kind of bothers me, so I turn it off right here on the right side. You can turn it off, but right here on the right side, this button right here, that's where you would turn it off. So I just pushed it, and as you can see here, it's deactivating. So now it won't do that. Again, you get back to this other side, you can go through your trip odometers, your preferences. and your direction and you can also adjust your your volume on your stereo right here so I can adjust it here I can also mute it uh, you can set your cruise control right here and it does have adaptive cruise so you can actually set the distance let's get this back up you can see those bars up there you can actually set how far or how close you want to be to the vehicle in front of you super simple any questions on this, again, feel free to call me, text me, email me. Not a whole lot to it, uh, but you can spend some time going through all the different functions here. Left side, you're going to have your lights, your dimmer. This is going to control your mirrors, like I mentioned earlier. If you have the auto mode, it's a really good feature. I leave it on all my vehicles. I just leave it on auto mode. It turns them on when it's dark and turns them off during the day so you don't have to forget. Uh, to turn them off super cool obviously you're going to have your turn signals here and your windshield wipers on this side like on most vehicles lastly these seats do sw swing around you can move them up back and you can pivot them I'll do that from outside on this one so I can show you First couple times you do it, it's always nice to start from outside. It's easier to see if you have enough room to turn. Uh, down here, this little yellow lever, that's what you push on to be able to swivel your seat. And then once you have it swiveled, you can move it forward or backwards. Again, if you've got a jump seat like we have in this one, you can always set it up here so you're sitting across from each other. Uh, you can use the little porta potty box there uh, again, most people don't use it. You can actually use it as a little table by sitting it in between you guys and you can play cards there uh, or just eat and have lunch. That is all I've got for you guys on this Antero Pikes Peak. It is available. If you have questions, give me a call. Uh, shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys and I'll see you next week. Hopefully it won't be snowing. I've had enough snow for this season. <laughs>